Okay, guys, let's talk about WooCommerce and the WooCommerce variation. Um, a lot of people are having trouble figuring out the attributes and how to add uh, different variations such as color, size, shape, uh, and even other things such as, uh, you know, whether there's glitter on it or such. Um, we're going to go ahead and step in and, and figure that out. I'm doing a website for a client right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this is done. To start out, you're going to go to your product section under WooCommerce, and you're going to go to Add Products. Now, once you get here, you have a product you can add. Now, for me, I have a uh, strict little schedule set up here by my client on pricing and sizes and such, and I already have their shipping set up. Uh, so I need to follow that strictly, but for you, you're going to have to figure all that stuff out. Um, so now I'll come down here. Okay, so Count Penguin is the name. To be clear, you want this to be just, uh, the pseudo case, you want the capitals to be at the beginning, and that is it. You don't want the entire thing capitalized. Uh, it just looks much better in your shop if it's not completely capitalized. So now this is where we're going to put our product description. Sorry guys, sticky keys is on and I keep getting the uh, cap lock. Okay, so right here we do attention because we actually have a note on this. Um, so we want to draw people's attention to that and let them know that uh, this has not been airbrushed yet. So what they're looking at isn't a finalized product. Uh, airbrushing will bring it out a lot better. And what this is, is a general description of what it's made out of and how it is made. And you just add that on to give people more detail. Okay, so now we come down here to the good part. Uh, if this were a simple product, that there were one variation of it, it didn't have any sizes or colors, or any of that good stuff, you would just leave it as it is. But since we have variations, we have to change this. It is a variable product. Okay, so once you set up your shipping and stuff, you should be able to do that in a different tab. Um, but if you haven't done it, don't do it now, just follow me. We're gonna come down here to attributes. We're gonna add an attribute. For me, this is gonna be size. For you, this may be color. Uh, it may be um, glitter. Uh, it may be strength, it, it could be anything, um, whatever the attribute is that you want to vary. Okay, so over here, okay, so we have a 24 inch, a 36 inch, and a 48 inch. Uh, and that's the sizes of our product and where we want to, you know, become variables. We want to build individual prices for these sizes. Make sure you put this little line in between uh, either text or sizes or any values that you put here. Um, and then you'll go ahead and you'll hit used for variations. And then you'll click save attributes. I mean, once you save your attributes, now you can step into them uh, by going to variations. We have three different variations, so here's where people go wrong. We need to actually set up three different uh, variations on here. We need to add three different ones. So we're going to add our first one. We're going to add our second one. We're going to add our third one. Now the lowest number for me is going to be the smallest size because that's where I want to start. 
So wherever you want to start, it's going to start at the lowest number. Um, also, default size. You can set this to the lowest number, um, or you can have no default. I have no default because I want them to see that the prices change as they move along and get a good idea of how much they change. I also want them to look at the art before they actually really see the price. For you, that may differ. So we're going to go ahead and hop down to 24 here. All right. And then you just click this little bar right here. All right, so now we have our prices and all sorts of cool things we can do here. This is in price ca uh, category B. So I come back here, I go to category B, and I see that it's $80. Um, the thing is, is guys, if you saw over there, uh, she has it laid out that it's 7 pounds. It's 24 inches tall, it's 20 inches long. Uh, it's only half inch thick, but the reason why we put 3 is because that's the size of the box that she's using. And the shipping company is going to charge you based on the size of the box, not based on what's inside the box. So down here we go for a variation description. <clears throat> this kind of helps with search engines and search on your uh, site in general. So go ahead and give it a uh, good description. So there we've given it a description. We can go ahead and save. And now I'll go ahead and set a product image so I can show you guys what this looks like. Okay, the description that I just entered, uh, I entered in all that information for search engine purposes. You really want to go through in detail uh, each image. You don't want to put too much information, but you do want some. Okay, so now we have our image here. We've set up our first variation, but we haven't set any other ones up. Um, you'll set them all up the same, just like you did this one. I uh, just want to hurry up and quickly go through and show you guys. Hey, uh, you also want to get product tags, obviously, because, you know, that not only helps search engine on your house, sorry, on your house, <laughs> on your website, it also helps with uh, your search engine optimization. Um, tags are good. They're a good thing. Uh, basically, if you have a lot of the same type of product, maybe it varies differently by category, uh, you can just kind of save it to the side. 
You can see I just put all this. Make sure you capitalize everything so it looks neat. Okay, you see all these tags I just saw added to this, you know, that's getting us out there a little bit. You know, uh, letting us hit up on some search engine, our crawler can come in here and find this. So as far as that goes, we're good to go. Um, especially on WordPress, if you're doing it yourself, uh, or you're just starting out building websites. Guys, you want to be able to crawl over things, descriptions, descriptions, descriptions. Um, make it nice, make it clean. Uh, make it easy to read and understand. That's how you uh, climb in search engine ratings. It's not all just about traffic. Okay, so we need to put this in Christmas and Halloween. Halloween. Go ahead and put it in yard art as well. Uh, Christmas is misspelled here. Hmm. We can fix that. It's unfortunate, but you know, it happens. Especially when you're up this late building a website. Uh, so now that we have everything the way we want it, we'll hit publish. Alright, so we've published this. Everything's uh, good to go. If you find something's wrong, you can come down here and fix it. Then you just click the update button. I preview the changes. Go ahead and hop over here and we'll look at our seasonal art. We have our penguin here. He's under Christmas right here. Um, and as you see, we have our penguins only listed at $80. We only put one variation for $80. But all of our options are here. We just haven't set up these two yet. So you just click your 24 inch penguin. Here's your uh, review. Um, as you see, our keywords actually got us related products down here, which is good for us. Uh, kind of intertwining, interlinking your own website to different products, which is always good. Um, so our additional information is just so it shows the sizes. Uh, we can actually change this to show this message, but I, I like this message on this page. Honestly, um, and then you would just add it to cart. As you can see, here's our category, and here's all of our tags, which our uh, crawler will be able to pick up pretty nicely. We don't have a SKU number because these aren't actually in stock; they're custom made, um, so there's no need for it. But if you have products and you're keeping inventory, go ahead and start giving your product a uh, SKU number. Um, but that's how it's done, guys. Thank y'all.